people, welcome to the Otaku Minute, where today we'll be reviewing the third episode of Baka and Tess. My name's Jacob. I'm JR. And I didn't know he was Asian until just last week. So, JR, what exactly happened in this episode? Oh, what happened was, you know, the main character, he was just, you know, doing his own thing inside the school. He's in Class F, right? Yep. And he's just, you know... Being all ladies guy on these two girls, and all of a sudden, like, he's just, like, finding out that he's, like, out of money and stuff, and then, hence the name of the show, of the episode, and then, like, he's going to movies and stuff, trying to, like, you know, hook up with one of the two of them, and, like, there's this guy that keeps, like, popping up in, at the movie theater, like, like, in these, like, old-time, like, like handcuff sh wooden handcuff shackle shackle things with a chain with his girlfriend or something. And she's like, You pick a movie, he's like, um okay, let me think and she's like, How about this movie? It's like a movie he absolutely hates and he's like, uh no, 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 no and she's like, We'll we'll watch it twice in a row and she chases him and everything. And then he's and then like the the movie, the theater people are just like playing along we're like, Okay, um what one one lot one just, get, just go, just go faster through it. Like, They're like, okay, one view for you, and one view for your little crazy, yeah. nice-looking zombie person. Yeah. So, so yeah, and then like eventually they buy some crepes. They, like they go, they go out for crepes the next day. Yeah, they go out for crepes the next day. Like they're talking, and then like he's almost out of money and everything. All of a sudden, this crazy girl comes out of nowhere, like 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 freaking. Superhuman strength, throwing forks at him, like like as if like they're like throwing knives. She's like panicking, screaming, and everything, and like she's like being a psychopath, and she just runs out the door, and like he dresses up as a girl, and like they duel her in like the school or something like that, and then like yeah, and then like, the episode ends. So, what do you think was the funniest part of this episode? Probably when they were having crepes in the store and all of a sudden they get attacked by the girl with like super freaking human strength and she's just like throwing forks against the walls and everything. But it, was, it was hilarious when I saw Aki in that dress who was like, Now, is Hideyoshi a guy or a girl? Just to refresh your memory, here is a picture. Hands down, a girl. <laughs> Actually, no. Hideyoshi is nor guy or girl. Hideyoshi is his own gender. Now, in this episode, Aki, the main character, ends up in a dress. What do you think about that? That was probably the most retarded scene in the whole entire, like, episode. Probably. Like, probably the entire scene, huh? It's plausible. It's plausible. It is very disturbing knowing putting Aki in a dress and how he acts in that dress is just plain disturbing. Hidi Oshi is like okay in that dress, but not Aki. Okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, how crazy do you think Miharu, the girl who attacked Aki and everybody else, how crazy do you think she is? There's not a number in this whole entire universe that could describe how crazy I think that psychopath is. Well, I gotta say, I give it about like... An 11. She's freaking crazy throwing all those forks and just attacking them randomly. I would rate the episode probably like an 8.6 because there's like all these creepy moments. Did you notice that? Hey, there's like this scene with the water fountain. Do you notice the water fountain in the background? <laughs> no? You should rewatch it. I'm pre warning you guys if you look at this episode and if you're to look at the background and see a water fountain, you know what I'm talking about. To me, this episode was pretty awesome. I like the action, but like, it's just really weird with like that girl Miharu and like that other dude that just suddenly pops up out of nowhere. I just, it's just weird. It's it's anime. What do you think of this episode overall? It was so confusing. I mean, like one moment they're here, and all of a sudden, like there's a freaking garbage bag that says like trash and all of a sudden says something else and then like they're attacked randomly and like all of a sudden they're fighting inside like a video game thing and all of a sudden they're getting dragged away to take a test or something now if you had oh, what's the going on? yeah it's going on. now if you had the ability to change the ending of this episode how would you change it and why um i'd probably 
put at a climax where they're running inside the school and then like they're hiding from the girl instead of like it's ending with okay they're safe and everything. That's that's friggin' lame. Every 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 anime has to like end in some action, cause or else you'll probably like bore them out and it'll probably be like. Okay, there is no anime poster up there that kind of ended in no action and was not. No, I mean there will be action. Like, they're, like they're being like they're like about ready. To get in another caught. episode. In the next episode. Yeah, like in the next episode, like like she catches them and like they go into the battle. Like I mean, like end it at like like the peak of the climax. That sounds more like an American show, like ending, kind of like. Okay, Pretty Little Liars, The Vampire Diaries, every friggin' vampire TV show that is a complete rip off of Twilight. I should kill you right where you stand. But I'm sitting! It doesn't matter! Ah! Finger! Like, I wouldn't really change the ending to this episode. It was pretty good to me. Like, I like every episode of the series. Now, I know I drag you into this all of a sudden, and I know you do not have enough time to see episodes 1 and 2 before you see episode 3. So... How fracking confused are you about this series? The word fracking is an understatement of how confused I am over this show. Let's just put it that way. And unlike you, JR, I actually watched this entire series, and I understand every little bit of it. And if you were to look at the episode one and see the first 20 seconds of the episode, you'd actually know what the frack is going on. Don't ridicule me! Oh, uh, see, I made JR cry. Well, that is it for the Otaku Minute today. I'll leave you guys with the episode link down below, or if you're watching this on iTunes Podcast or on Blip.TV, here's a little bit that LY thingy. Well, the Otaku Minute is up. Say bye, JR. What? Say bye. Bye. I'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow with the episode 3 review of Nejima, so... And he's messing with the camera. He's scared to He wants to say bye again. See ya! Bye.